this is the um, introductory um, episode. I figured that, um, you know, if you're going to be listening to me talk about this kind of stuff, you kind of want to know who I am and what makes me uh, capable of, of doing this kind of thing. So, um, so I'm going to kind of cover all of that. Um, this is not going to have any information as far as the cosplay community. This is going to be um, entirely personal to me. Um, so if you are looking for information um, about cosplay or about the community, um, then this is not the episode for you. Uh, but if you are interested in a little bit more about who I am, my backstory, my background, my experiences, and um, kind of, again, defending my right to have this podcast uh, experience, um, then uh, then stick around. So, um, who I am? Um, my name is Carrie Fable. Um, my alias online is Cypress. Um, no one ever calls me that in real life, um, but um, but online I I'm very heavily known as Cypress. Um, that's not because I'm hiding who I am. Um, I'm actually also online as Carrie Fable, um, but I, I've just uh, been successfully. Um, a uh, freelance uh, voiceover artist, uh, voice actress, and um, and of course just acting. So that I kind of wanted to d- distinguish between my personal hobby life and my professional life. Um, although I'm I'm perfectly fine, honestly, if they mesh. Um, but I don't want I don't want to muddy the waters, so to speak. So I'm going to move on. Um, so I officially first started cosplaying. Um, that, that term cosplay um, in 2008 um, that's actually when um, my friends and I kind of went to AWA um, Anime Week in Atlanta I, um, I'd i gone to a few conventions bef- prior then or actually I went to AWA twice I think I first started in 2005 and uh, going to AWA um, but 2008 is when I got all my friends to go and uh, we all cosplay together, and so we kind of created this uh, cosplay group, Echo Cosplay, which is still around, and it has over a hundred videos um, in its own YouTube section. Um, and that's where I actually have been uploaded, uploading my um, my stuff for for years. <laughs> so my Cypress account has been kind of inactive. Um, that's not to say I've been inactive, but I've been posting under a different account. So, um, but. Really, I've been cosplaying um, my entire life, if you think about it that way. My sister cousins and I put together a a musical of uh, The Lion King where we would actually, we made the costumes and we acted out um, the the soundtrack. Um, And then uh, around the same year in um, 1996 or 1997, I cosplayed Sailor Chibi Moon with um, my sister's uh, friends and we actually had our first photo shoot um, where we actually went out it was on Halloween day and we went actually to the pier the the beach area and uh, we actually did my or my first photo shoot I don't know about them I think it was everyone's first kind of kind of taste of that scene um, and uh, you know really after that I I was never really big into Halloween as far as trick-or-treating but I love the costumes um, and of course you know growing up as a child um you do what is now considered i guess larping you know live action role play where you pretend to be that person um and i did that um a lot i was very active um in in playing um my sister and i you know would would do gargoyles and all that kind of stuff and and we would just we would be uh characters from gargoyles um or actually we made up our own but (laughs) so um, and to me, you know, cosplay is a performance art. So to me, it all kind of meshes together. People tend to think that cosplay is childish. Um, but to me, it's, um, it's a way to, um, express yourself. And, um, that will uh, be covered in episode two, if you consider this episode one. And uh, so I'm not going to talk too much about what cosplay is or what it means to me and all that kind of stuff. Then I was what was then called a a closet cosplayer. Uh, Now it means something entirely different. Closet cosplay, again, I'll discuss it more in the next episode, but um, it's 
it's when you, you know, you pull from your own wardrobe to make a costume. But uh, closet cosplay back when I was doing it uh, was, or at least I'd always heard it be used as um, when you were in the closet, basically, you know, so I would put together costumes, um, never 100% finished anything. Um, to me, I, I love wigs. So, um, you know, I never had like that, but I always made the, the pieces. Um, I didn't show anybody. Um, I have like literally maybe two pictures. Those would not be shared. Um, and anyway, so and then I went, uh, that was senior year of, of high school. So that was 2003, 2004 was when I was really getting into making costumes. Uh, I thought I wanted to be a costume designer. Um, and then I went off to um, University of Georgia and that is when I discovered um, that I loved costumes, but I didn't want it as a career. I didn't want uh, to do theater costumes, if that makes sense. The, um, you know, the roaring 20s and the, that kind of stuff, the, you know, the swinger look, the whatever, <laughs> the flapper look. Um, so I wanted, uh, I wanted to kind of have the freedom of thinking outside the box and not just using normal clothing um you know obviously with costume designing and stuff you would actually have to make your make the costumes um but a lot of times it was it was just going out and searching for clothes that already existed um i really liked the idea of of creating something um that is entirely original um not necessarily original in concept but in um actuality uh, so, you know, if you do anime, you know that um, a lot of the costumes that people wear are very weird and they might not exist in real life, um, not like, you know, blue jeans do. So, um, so that kind of gave my focus to that. Um, and it was at that same time, actually, that I uh, was told about AWA. And so that was um, technically that was 2004. Uh, so, um, so we went and um, I was blown away. I learned what the word cosplay was. That's how I knew I was a closet cosplayer um, because I knew that, hey, this is what I do. I didn't realize there was a community for this. So once I realized that this is what, this is what I wanted, you know, I found my hobby. Um, then actually I, I pulled in uh, my sister and my friends and um, the rest, as they say, is history. So. Um, I've been cosplaying officially for 10 years, um, on and off, um, you know, because of real world struggles, um, but it's always been a part of my life. Um, so, so that's that, that's me. So why a podcast? Um, there are a lot of great ones out there, um, like, like Cospod and tons of other, I'm not going to name them all because then they'll, I'll upset someone who I haven't named um, but it's not as a saturated a market as as one would think um, and my goal with mine is to bring uh, bring together all walks of life um, so my first few episodes are going to be geared to um, newbies or parents of cosplayers uh, who just want to know more about the hobby um, and you know if you're if you are in the hobby, but you're just tired of explaining uh, to your friends and stuff uh, what it is, um, I want to have something available where you just say, watch this. It's going to be five, ten minute video of just explaining what cosplay is in a way that non-cosplayers would understand. So the first few episodes are going to be geared towards the absolutely no clue. They randomly stumbled on my video or they looked up what is cosplay and somehow found my video um so once we get everyone caught up um and you know so once we get everyone all caught up and and everyone knows what cosplay is we'll be able to have uh discussion starters um i am in no way the end all be all uh you know the mother of cosplay you know queen of all knowledge um i am not saying that i am i am actually a pretty average cosplayer in terms of skill level um, but so far, no one has really uh, stepped up to the plate, so to speak, in terms of, of gathering all walks of life, like I said. Um, I want this to be an open, 
um, an understanding and accepting community, which it is, um, but it feels very closed off. It feels like any time outsiders try to learn more, um, they kind of get um, pushed away. You know, there is that uh, the Heroes of Cosplay, uh, which will be an episode I will discuss further um, my stance on it, which is what I'm arguing in why I'm having a podcast. Um, it might have not gone around the best way of um, showing the normal world what um, cosplay is, but it was bashed um, for even trying. And um, and that is something I am trying to do. I'm trying to bridge um, one end from the other. Um, so why me? Uh, again, I want to bring the community back to the fandom. Um, now it's kind of quieted down, uh, but when I first started uh, thinking about doing this podcast, there was a lot of drama in the community and in the cosplay community. And um, the there's there's a unity there and a freedom of acceptance that has been forgotten. And I think that on touching the important topics, uh, we can find an understanding. Um, that will lead uh, lead healing to the drama um, that's been imposed on our society. Um, I think that's really all I can say. I mean, I um, I'm going to kind of um, learn with you uh, once I go over some of the stuff I already have some knowledge on. Um, so this is not going to be a tutorial podcast. This isn't going to be, um, you know, when you listen to the radio and, uh, and the, you know, the uh, announcer DJ is just kind of telling you as is like, Hey, I have all the answers. Listen to me. This is true. It's not going to be like that for the beginning of the episodes. I am going to be bringing facts. Um, anything I say that is opinion, I will state that it is my opinion. Um, but anything that I have researched, uh, we'll have links. I will have proof for any facts I spew at you. Um, so it's not so much me telling you. I am just the go-between uh, from Google searching to the answer. And I'm trying to do it in a way that's fun and entertaining um, and uh, engaging. And so I definitely want to open it up uh, so that there is... Um, there's a possibility of discussion, you know, um, and and your voice can be heard. And you know, back to my goal, I am going to be discussing topics. Uh, so there will be some, I guess, lecture um, based. Um, I'm also um, this is simultaneously. Um, I'm going to be posting this as a podcast, as well as a YouTube video, because um, some episodes are going to be very visual heavy. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to work that out for the podcasts because I do want to have each episode together. Um, but, you know, sometimes, obviously, um, a video of a podcast, which is kind of what this episode is, it's it's kind of boring. Um, but it's designed to, you know, it's designed for you to kind of just listen to or watch while you do something else. Maybe you're crafting. Uh, so it's a perfect time for you to just sit and do um, and, and some of the other ones, uh, when I have a tutorial, I'm going to be doing things that I actually am knowledgeable in, um, but I would love to, to try new things, to be like, hey, I saw this tutorial, let's sit down and do this together and see how hard it was for me to do, um, because if I can do it, pretty much everyone else can do it, so, um, so I hope that, uh, this will be entertaining, um, uh, in closing, my goal is to have very clearly defined episodes um, that you can kind of scroll through and be like, I want to hear about this topic or I want to see how she tried this tutorial. Um, but I want it to be so that if you uh, subscribe and follow my podcast, uh, you'll be entertained. So it's um, it's kind of a mixture of both. I'm sure I'll be, you know, saying, hey, well, in last episode, remember this. Um, um, at the moment, I this is going to be just me. I would love to start interviewing some cosplay-mas uh, celebrities and um, and get some, um, I don't know what you would want to call it, viewer email. Um, if you want to send in a track, I can add it to um, my video. 
Um, so however we want to do it, um, I'm totally open to it, and I really want this to, to become a kind of um, a discussion launching board, um, a launching pad into the pool that is the cosplay community. So I hope you will bear with me. Um, I'm going to do a, two, a few tester episodes, and uh, I don't know if, if time allows it um, or if it doesn't get um, a good enough reception. It seems like people are actually um, interested in what I'm doing. Uh, then I will continue, um, but I'm going to have it set up where, um, you know, once... Once the main set of what I really wanted to get done is done, um, then I'm probably, it's it's a possibility that it will end. It'll just be a, a mini-series. Um, I just want to, like, leave it open-ended um, and see where it goes and see if it grows or if it withers and decays like my dreams. So, <laughs> um, so thanks for listening. I promise the other episodes are not going to be as rigid. Um, this is just kind of, uh, like I said, an introductory, um, you know, episode one, kind of get the feel of what this is going to be. Um, so I do apologize if you were bored out of your mind. It's just a whole long, too long didn't read, only I didn't read it. So, hey, there you go. <laughs> but, so, um, please feel free to, um, email me or comment um, any suggestions uh, that you might have as far as uh, what you do want me to cover. Um, I already have um, a quite a decent sized list of things I'm planning on covering, um, but obviously if you have something very specific you'd like discussed, um, I would be more than happy to oblige. So um, again, thank you all for giving this a chance, and I hope I don't disappoint you. Mm-hmm.